What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. So, last time I played this game, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and it seems like you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Something a little bit different, you know, an old game that I was actually quite surprised by in terms of quality. Now, the last video I said that I wanted to play this game again, but do a version of the track where I can ride the dirt jumps, so you can see over on the right hand side of this picture, if there's um, like off track jumps. I don't think that actually exists. I think I was ill advised there. So what I can do instead, what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to try and do some time trial. So I'm just going to pick this very short flat track uh, right here. And if I go to leaderboards, we can have a look to see what people are kind of working with. So the top two times I'm guessing are not cheated. Doesn't count as they're literally 10 seconds quicker than everyone else. But I'm going to go from about third place onwards. I want to say are probably quite legit. So I want to see if I can get as close to like a 34 as possible. Now, I very much doubt it's going to go that way. And I, I won't lie, I'm going to be on kind of like standard stuff. I'm taking all the, the um, riding aids off in terms of the lines and stuff like that. But because I'm very, very new to the game, I know a lot of you are going to hate me for doing it. But I'm going to just keep the physics on standard rather than pro. I've turned off like steering help and things like that, um, but the gearing, I'm not sure if the gearing is the same or not actually, I'll have to uh, find out, but we're going to go to the track, we're going to see what's what, and the first lap obviously we're just going to treat it as like a cheeky little warm up lap, oh I do have, let me change one more thing quickly, I really do apologise for this, let me go back to the pits, change my gearing, so riding aids, uh, brakes, auto brakes off, Joint brakes on, steering help off, tuck in, automatic transmission, there we go. Manual transmission back, done, and go again. So, I need to work out what my buttons are again. It's been, uh, it's been like a week since I played. So it's circle and square on the PlayStation controller. Okay, no worries, I can certainly do that. Oh god, she doesn't want to stop. Right, so, first things first, I just want to get a lap in of the track work out where on earth I'm actually going because I'm guessing through the cones is not the uh, correct way of doing things. I'm going to do a couple laps in third person I think and then I'm also going to do a couple laps in first person as well just to just to mix it up a little bit see what's what. Oh god I feel like there's a very very fine line on this game between just the right amount of uh, drift and too much. So that was a third that was, you know what 38 for being that scuffed, not bad whatsoever. I'm going to try a few different techniques as well whilst I'm doing this because some people I'm guessing they just absolutely hammer it around the track on the limiter everywhere. I'm going to try and be a little bit different and just try and be kind of slow and steady. I've got a time penalty I believe there for going on the inside of that cone which is absolutely fine, I, I respect it. I want to be slow and steady, I can straight line this the best of my ability. Oh god. Drifting that wide. 37-3. Oh, we're already picking up the pace a lot. Jeez. Right, let's bang it down. Second gear. What I want to try and do is, you'll see me being a little bit twitchy on the exit of corners. I'm trying to stand the bike upright as much as I can, as soon as I can. Just try and get back on the gas again. Yeah, I can, I can fully see how people are getting 34s. 22s, yeah, they're definitely cheated for. <laughs> I imagine there's some some sort of cut line going through some cones somewhere that doesn't uh, doesn't penalise you or reset you. 36.5, oh, we're getting better every lap. A channel, channel my inner doctor. In the words of uh, Eminem and Dr. Dre, I need a doctor to bring me back to life. Let's go skrrr, flip it from side to side. Oh, the cone! Oh, the cone's absolutely screwed me there. Should we switch? Uh, let's switch to first person for a lap or two. Only show I have with first. I have no idea how far out my back end is. I imagine there's uh, certain techniques you can get as well to really hook the back end up more. Try mashing down the gearboxes lap as well, see if that helps at all. I forgot as well, so I've still got the music on in the background. And it's so uh, it's so like hardcore rock as well. Didn't expect it. Mm. 
Now the grass is super slippery, but there's some areas where the cones aren't quite there. Oh, that was close. Yeah, bang it down into first gear. Straighten her up, get on the throttle again. Let's come out wide. Try and turn early, apex it early. That cone there is absolutely killing me. I got a one second. Oh my god, I got a second. Like, penalise a second for that tiny little off the track. Yeah, bits like this here. Like, am I allowed on the grass here? Because the cones on. Yeah, the cones don't meet. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the cones don't really meet the dirt. Earn you bastard. Go, go, go. Oh, I'd be so cool if I could use that whole bank on the left, as, on the right hand side, as like a massive berm. But it's, this is definitely one of them games and tracks as well, I suppose, that I could quite happily sit here spending numerous, like, tens of laps just trying to improve by a tenth. Oh, I was trying to see if that would give me cuts going on the right-hand side of the grass there as well. Oh, that was a very good, very good break in time there. I got on the brakes pretty damn hard and managed to not slide out. I'm going to try and keep this uh, keep this lap nice and smooth. Oh, that was a horrible turn, just as I say that. Talking about keeping it nice and smooth, and I literally almost got over the bars on the brakes. Right here, just nice and gentle on the throttle. That's got me my best one, surely. Yeah, 36. Oh, oh, God. I'm only like a second and a half off of uh, a good time, you know, which I'm quite surprised by. Can I go out here? Or will it reset me? Oh, God. That, <laughs> that definitely wasn't the move. Right, let me go back to the pits and see if I can change anything. Uh, motorbike settings. What are these guided settings? Let's have a look. Where's the issue? Corner entrance on corners. Coming out of the corner, I think. What issue is it? Speed, precision, yeah, maybe precision. Understeer. This is sick. They are recommended changes, decrease front preload, apply it. That's so good. Why have I never seen that in a game before? That is actually so, so good. Imagine that like, MX Bytes or MX Sim had that. Like, people wouldn't struggle with setups ever. Right, let's see how this, this acts then. Oh, God, we are uh... oh, struggling under the brake in now. I'm hoping I can keep my back end more in line coming out the corners. Oh, I'm going to get my triad, triad pants on. Yeah, this last corner's a right pain in the arse to try and south for. Oh, that grip felt so good. There was something very satisfying about how I hit that first uh, first left. Alright, nice and gentle around here again. Try and come out wide and cut down a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm getting close. I'm getting lots of low 36s, but I can't quite get into that 35 range. Yes, that feels good so far. Get on the blinders, get on the brakes. Felt good. Oh, there we go. 35-7. Jeez. I don't think I'm doing too bad whatsoever, considering this is actually my second time playing the game. Oh, this is an awful... <laughs> I say that, this is an absolutely awful start to the lap. Just pushing out far too wide there. So, if I go back to the pits again, let's go to settings, guided settings, 
I want... Let's just do on corners in general. Uh, stupid, bit, not stupid. Maybe handling. How is the motorbike behaving? Low response. Decrease apply changes. I just, I can't get over it. That's such a cool function to have in a game. Especially for like a newbie like me that has no idea what they're doing when it comes to bike setups. Oh god, yeah, the brakes are... Uh... So I definitely makes more stable coming out of the turns, 100%. However, you do uh, you do lose that entry, that entry break in and turning in. I'm going to try and tell myself next lap that long left hander that I just went round. I want to stay away from the grass because it's noticeably slippery. Being so smooth on the throttle this lap. Trying to reduce that wheel spin as much as possible. Right, stay away from the grass. Felt okay, I don't know if it was okay. Our, uh, oh, that's a 35 8. That was so close. Starts a lap as well. Oh, I'll push it a little bit wide in that corner. Oh, this is a very slow left as well. I'm try and just be smooth on the grass. I nice scumbag this. Oh, no, yeah, it penalised me for it. It penalised me half a second actually. That was like a mid 35, which would have been really good, but as I went through those cones at the finish, it, uh, it said, no, sir, you cannot do that. Scumbag tactics. It's nice to see that the changes that I'm making in the pits are reflecting. Well, they, they reflect onto the track and I can feel a difference. It's so, so good. Uh, is there anything else I can do? So, so I go guided settings. Direction changes are all right. It's all about straights. Speed. Low speed. High speed. Not low speed. Higher gear ratio. Oh. That could help me actually. I could stop spinning more on the corners. This will be the last one. I'll do a few laps like this, and I'll um, I'll call it there because I feel like it's just going to get to a point where I'm actually just playing the game for the sake of playing it. <laughs> you guys are just along for the ride and me just playing casually one afternoon. Oh god, that did not want to turn. Oh yeah, whatever I've just done. Does not feel very comfortable. Oh, so that didn't penalise me there. So there is a there's a limit to how far you can get that grass wide. Oh, gentle, get turned, get turned. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, I feel like I'm pushing my uh, pushing my limits right now. Oh, thirty-five, six, six, six. We're literally like a under a second and a half off of like a really good time. I wonder if there's a way on like the F1 games, for example, where you copy uh, a fast person's setup, or you can just like view a fast person's lap. So I'd love to see where I could be improving. You guys probably have better ideas than me, and I'm sure that you can go a lot faster on the uh, the pro physics rather than the standard game physics. Maybe I'll mess around with that as well with my, my spare time and have a look.
try and keep it tight here. Oh, such a fine line. Like, if you get under a certain speed, the bike almost like stands itself back up again afterwards. Right, we're going to go for one more good lap here. Try and get a nice right onto this straight. There we go, I've got so much traction. Alright, try not to overshoot it. No, that's fine, that's good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, it didn't give me any, uh, it didn't penalise me at all for that, so that's helpful. Oh god, that's an awful braking zone. I've just leaned forwards when I shouldn't have. I'll get along in third. Oh, stay away from the cone. Only 2012. Straight line. Oh, 35-2. Nice. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I can't be upset with that whatsoever. Oh, let me go back to the main menu. I want to see if that's uh, if that's saved. That's. I love how you can you can see genuine progression as well, like 38s, 37s, 35, 36s, and then that final 35 there. That's good. That, that's really good. That's. I think that caters to me in a try hard as well. And just the fact that you've got that game mechanic to kind of tailor your settings depending on what's wrong. That's so, so good. No! Oh, you can try again or cancel. Oh, my time didn't upload. God damn it. What did I get in there? Was it like a 50... I think it was like a 53.3? So let me, let me just have a look. I need to have a look. Connection to them. Right, great. I can't have a look. <laughs> Bloody milestone. Why'd they do this to me? So, I have no idea where I ended up. Um, you guys can have a look at the start of the video to see what the rough times were. But I really, really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to. And until I can catch you in the next video. A little bit time to sit there. Peace. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time, boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king, honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want, I got salt